Hi and welcome back to another Bicom Systems video tutorial. In this video we will cover all steps needed to set up SMS on PBXware using Telnix provider. Before we start you need to make sure that you have the SMS license activated on your PBXware system and you need to create a Telnix sub account. Please contact your account manager who will help you with SMS license and the Telnix sub account. Once you are all set up, log into your Telnix account and navigate to the numbers menu. You will need to purchase the DID numbers from Telnix. Or if you already have the DID number with a different provider, you can port the number or numbers to Telnix. For tutorial purposes, we will purchase a number. You can choose between local numbers or toll free numbers. You can search local numbers by area code or by region. For example, let's say you want a Miami number. You would type here Miami, Florida. And there you go. And most importantly, under number features, Make sure to select SMS if you want to send or receive SMS using this number. So, when you are done, click the search numbers button and find the number you like and click on the add to cart button next to the number you wish to purchase. You can select multiple numbers, but for tutorial purposes, we will only purchase single DID number. Once you are ready to make purchase, in the top right corner, click on the cart button. If you review your order, you will notice that you can assign a messaging profile to your number. And since this is a new account and there is no messaging profile created, I will have to assign it after I purchase the DID number. Once you are ready to place your order, click on the place button and if you have funds in your account, your order will be completed. Next, let's create and assign a messaging profile to the number we just purchased. Navigate to the messaging menu and click on create your first profile button. In here, you need to enter your messaging profile name and select your preferred API version. We recommend selecting API version 2, which is selected by default. Next, you will need to configure inbound and outbound settings. For inbound settings, you need to specify the URL for a webhook. The URL you need to enter contains your PBXware domain followed by slash SMS service slash Telnix. It is highly recommended to use HTTPS protocol here to avoid any security issues. Next, under outbound settings, you can manage allowed destinations. By default, all destinations are selected. You can manage them to your likings. And once you have your destination set, at the bottom, click on the save button to create your messaging profile. Next, navigate to the numbers menu. And under my numbers, find the number you just purchased and assign the messaging profile to it. Click accept to accept the billing changes. Now that we have purchased the number and assigned the messaging profile to it, we need to create an SMS trunk inside of PBXware. However, before we head to PBXware, let's generate the API key in Telnix first. Under API keys menu, make sure that API version 2 is selected. You can switch between API version 1 tokens and the API version 2 keys by clicking the button on the right. Once you have API version 2 selected, click on the Create API Key button and click the Create button again to confirm. Copy the API key to clipboard and select Closed. Now let's open the PBXware and create the SMS trunk. For the demo purposes, we will create SMS trunk on a multi-tenant edition of PBXware. However, if you are using PBXware Contact Center or Business Edition, the process is similar. With master tenant selected, under SMS menu, select trunks and click on add SMS trunk. Next, enable the trunk by clicking the toggle button and enter the name of your trunk. From the provider dropdown menu, select Telnix and under API field, paste the API key that you copied from your Telnix account. You will notice that once you have selected Telnix as a provider, a public key field has appeared below the API. So, to obtain the public key, head back to your Telnix account and under API Keys menu, select the public key and copy the public key to clipboard. Now go back again to BBXware and paste your public key under the public key field. Optionally, you can add a description for your SMS trunk and once you are ready, click on the Save button to create your SMS trunk. Next, you will need to assign SMS trunk to a tenant. So from the SMS menu, select Trunks and Tenants and find your desired tenant and then click on the tenant name to open the edit section. Inside, from the SMS drop-down menu, 
select your SMS trunk and then click the save button. Now that you have assigned the SMS trunk, you will need to add your SMS number and configure your DID number. Start by navigating to your desired tenant and under SMS menu, select numbers and then click on the add SMS number. Inside, under the numbers field, enter your SMS number and from the extensions drop down menu, select the extensions you want to assign SMS number to and then click save. With the SMS number all set up, you need to add your DID number and assign to your desired tenant. Select the master tenant and from the DIDs menu, click on the add DID. Select your desired tenant in trunk and under DID field, enter your DID number and then click the save button. If you have done everything correctly, once you log into Glockom, you will be able to send and receive SMS.